Hello everybody, Max Teacher Game here, and welcome back to another playthrough of Destiny. So guys, hope you guys are all doing awesome as always. Last time we played, we um, I introduced the story, and while I was doing the playthrough, I talked about the characters and how the story began. And um, I, I know I missed that little detail, I know the Traveller was first found on Mars, hence that little video I put in the first video. They went to Mars, they found the Traveller, then they went on to advance to new technology, and then the darkness arrived, and then everything hit the fan. So, that was that little detail I missed out, but that was it, I, mean, obviously I told you guys about the mission of how the Guardian started, he was dead, and then he was resurrected by ghosts, they found their ship, and then they went to the tower, I introduced you to the characters there, and then we went back, found parts for our ship, repaired it, and also um, found out about the war mine that was thought long, long dead, Rasputin. So guys, we are going to continue the story in this video, I'll make this video a lot longer, last time I sort of ran out of time, stuff was going on. Blah blah, you don't want to know the details. But regardless, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please sort of leave a like, drop a comment, and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to keep up with to date with my videos, then hit the hit the bell button on the next to the subscribe thing, so you can keep up to date with all my future videos. But regardless, guys, let's get back into this. I believe the next story of the campaign we are on is which one is it? The Dark Within. Yeah, investigate reports of a hidden power trapped in the Cosmodrome array stations. That is the next level of the story, but yeah, so guys, as always, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but this is one's going to be a lot longer. I want to get more story missions done anyway, well, at least I'll try to make it longer anyway. We'll, we'll see what happens, but um, regardless, let's uh, get into this. One thing they did now in this game was definitely the story. I do love the story. But, um... Well, there's not actually no sort of. The story was okay, but I do love the music. That's what I meant to say. I don't know how I was blurred out story and said, but no, I, I, I like the music. There are reports that the Fallen back at the Cosmodrome are keeping a pretty tight guard on the old Skywatch. It could be one of their leaders, or it could be something valuable. The speaker's asking Guardians to look into it. Okay, well, let's have a looky-looky. I forget sometimes that the, per that the guy who does the voice behind the speaker, I forget the name of the actor, but he's quite a big actor. He's in lots of movies like Underworld, and he also played Davy Jones in Pirates of the Caribbean. You guys know who I'm talking about, probably. Anyway, just a little random fact there. Okay. Okay, the Skywatch is just on the other side of the steps. And it's surrounded by Fallen. Well, I'm ready if you are. Here we go. You know, this place must have been amazing before the collapse. Thousands of humans boarding the colony ships. Off to build cities beyond. And then the shit hit the fan is what you're supposed to say, Ghost. <laughs> Up the hill. The building with the radar? That's the Skywatch. Okay, good to know. Hello! Okay. And then we go. You know what? Can I rub a sparrow in here? Yes, I can! We're in. Ah, sort of. This Wait. was one of Skywatch's old array stations. A link to the lunar colonies. Link to the lunar colonies. Okie dokie. Respawning was restricted. This is the first mission where you little you get a little bit nervous. You're like, "What's what the hell's going to be behind this door?" Fallen seal this gate. I can get it open. There's always a locked door. There's always something, some way of getting it open. Such a cliche with games. You know, one of these days you're going to get to the door. It looks locked, but it's just going to be open. Fallen really didn't want anybody getting in or out. What is this? Lots of motion ahead. I've got a bad feeling about this. Another classic line. Here we go. The hive. 
Meet the hive, everybody! These guys are assholes, and they're much more creepy than the fallen. Here. You have to kill it. All right, let's kill the damn bastard. And, oh, I thought I had a grenade. Whoops. Oh. Yep, this is all too easy so far. Hey. Yeah, see ya. And that's it. <laughs> the hive haven't been on Earth in centuries. The darkness could be a lot closer than we think. We should probably get moving. So now you guys can understand why, um, those of you who haven't played Destiny, now you guys know why I said in the first video that videos, I mean, that levels in this game are really short at first. Like, you saw how short that was. We went in, exp explored, met the hive, and then that was it. But that mission is more like an introduction to the, the hive, and that will be featured a lot in the story to come. So, yeah, be prepared to see a lot more of them. Okay, and we are now moving on to the next mission. I think this one's more related to the story. That one was just an introduction to some new enemies. Now, the next mission, I believe, is called the, um, the Last, uh, the Last Array, I think. If I miss out on any story missions, I, I do apologise. But I'm pretty sure we'll be good. Um, um, where is it? Where is it? The Last Array. Yeah, this is it. The Last Array. Yeah, this is it. We've got to we've got to um, track down codes to raise an ancient array and connect it to the long lost colonies throughout the solar system. All right, let's get to it. And we're only seven minutes in, so plenty of time. Yeah. So once again, I will not be revealing a single spoiler. Obviously, I have seen this before. That's why I'm not like, oh my god, this is amazing. But like I said, I'll say it one last time. Wait a minute. Reports a team of guardians went dark near the old Skywatch. They were running a mission for dead orbit, had codes to a hidden array that could reconnect us to the other colonies in the system. If we can find their ghosts, maybe we can open that array. Yeah, this mission is a bit longer. This is this is a better mission. Yeah, sorry, I'll say it one more time. This playthrough is for the story only. So if anybody doesn't remember that, that just from, you know, that's what I'm saying now. I'm doing this playthrough for the, the recap of the last story. heard from near the Skywatch. Let's head there and see if we can find them. Okay, <clears throat> let's move out. I just hope that the campaign in Destiny 2 will be a big improvement. Because, um, well, you know, it's just, this campaign is good, but they made this one too short, and without the DLC, the entire game in general is rubbish, I have to say. So, um, but no, it's a brilliant game, I'm addicted to it, but it just needed to be better story-wise. I'll leave it at that, but I hope I'm confident Destiny 2 will have a better campaign. So they definitely focus more on the gameplay than the actual story. Which, you know, which is fair enough, but in my opinion, story is everything in a game. The gameplay could be really crap. The gameplay could be really crap, but the story could, like, really move We're you emotionally. Back through that hive breeding ground. The vanguards say they're spilling onto the surface now, keeping the fallen busy. So there you go. You hear that? The hive. Uh, now I'm uh, not in here anymore after we encountered them. Now we're spilling out onto the surface to piss off the fallen. Give keep them keep them busy at least. You put headphones on. It sounds pretty grim down here. We just see all this crap on the walls and everything. Make I mean, it's just, it's I mean this game was by the same company that made Halo, I believe. So kind of reminds you of the flood from Halo, don't you think, guys? In a way. Not completely, though. But we've still got some hive down here. Oh, and fallen. 
<laughs> no one left standing. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, it's always satisfying getting a headshot with that firefly effect. Makes all that stuff like explode and you get a headshot. The ghosts. They're in a clearing between buildings not far from here. Okay. So we've got to find these ghosts. The ghosts are still here. The fallen have them. Alright, well, let's kill them. Oh, I can't shoot. Okay, there's there's one. It's dead. There's two. Keep hunting. What about the second one, Ghost? <laughs> oh, I guess they're both dead. Well, obviously, it's a dead ghost, you moron. I really uh, do live up to my name of Captain Obvious. Ask Robert if you don't believe me. I, I, I am Captain Obvious 24-7. Then again, I don't know how you're going to ask Robert. He doesn't have a YouTube channel. Ask, um, ask Joel Will. Ask Joel on his Twitter or Will on his channel. They'll, 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 tell, they'll say so. Unless they don't notice it, which I doubt. Especially Will, he's he's a very he's a brilliantly observant guy, so <laughs> he's more observant than I am. This one still holds the codes. Let's find the array. All right, let's get moving. Oh yeah, we got we got heavy ammo. Let's load up my mighty Galahorn. I remember the days when that gun was the most. OP thing to use against bosses ever. And then uh then year two came out and we were without it for a long time. Then they brought it back. Am I going the right way? Yeah yeah. Wait, put that away. Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Yeah, I'm not intimidated to be dropping through the ceiling. Oh, there you are. Oh, yeah, I'll take it. Nice. Look at those. Yeah, so at least this mission's a bit longer. Get the hell out of my face, cannon. Approaching the control station. This is it. Hope, I'm hoping that some of you will uh, recognize that movie quote. I know Leo loves that one. Ah, oh, I can't shoot. I just missed three bullets. Get back. Oh, really? That bar gets in the way? Awesome. Awesome. Spectacular. Shit. Crap. Bollocks. There you go. Got there in the end. Oh, hello. Boom. Got it. <laughs> oh, I never get tired of using the Galahorn against weak enemies. That guy was just like, ah, I'm gonna kill you, and I just shoot him in the head. There's the controls. I'll see if these codes still work. The foolish just spend less time gloating and standing there raising their guns. He's like, oh yeah, this is gonna be easy. I actually, focus more time on actually shooting you. Not like they'd kill me anyway if they did that. Okay, negotiating crypto systems. Sure, resistance security lattice verified. It's working. Outside the array, it's opening. Let's have a look. There it is, guys. There is the array. We've got to fight off invading forces. Activated. My 
Here come the hive. Bring it on! Gotta love that Neo emote. Come on then, I'm ready. Okay, alright, cool, cool, yep, coming to the battle. Come on then. Look at that array, I must admit that thing does look cool every time I watch it. My lovely bubble here, this will give me a nice little weapons buff. Or weapon damage buff. Get out of it. Oh, that is a knight. Hey, oh, there's lots of different hive enemies each time. Oh, look at me, I'm MLG with a no scope. Oh, get out of here. They don't bother trying to run away from a grenade, they just, just stand there and take take the explosion. Another one. Oh. <coughs> Wait, back off. All too easy. Once again, the music in this game is spot on. I'll give that one a 10 out of 10 at least. This array is controlled by the last war mind, Rasputin. It's connecting to defense constructs all across the system. There could be something out there to help us survive the darkness. This is where our story will take us, guys. We'll have to go to Mars, the Moon, and Venus. All in good time, though. All in good time. Let's go. Okay, so that's... That is actually the last story mission of the main campaign on Earth, anyway. The only other thing we can do, which I'm going to do actually, I decided I am going to do some strikes because some strikes time with the story, some don't, but I'm going to finish off with an old strike which no one does now because there's a new version of it, that's what I'm saying, and, uh, excuse me. <laughs> so we're going to finish off with a strike and then our story will continue on the moon in the next video, but let's finish off the strike, the devil's lair, the fallen house of devils in the cosmos drain sus sustains its strength for a single servitor known as Sepix Prime. Find where this Keeper of Souls lies and destroy him. And Sepix Prime is basically a giant servitor. And basically, you guys remember in the last video when I was... Um, look, when we were fighting off that console or something to find... And then we found out about Rasputin surviving the collapse. There are these little sphere enemies turning up. Those things were called servitors. Well, this is basically a giant one of that. We are going to go hunt him down and destroy him. Of course, we're going to go into matchmaking because it is a... A strike you can play with three other people, but I very much doubt that we will find anybody just because um, no one does this uh, this version anymore. I mean, I'll be surprised if we find anybody, but regardless, this will be the last thing of the video, and then in the next video, we will arrive at the moon. So, uh, okay, cool, and here we go. See, you see what I mean, guys? No one's joining, it's just, just me, but I can solo this easy. I don't need a team of three. This is an easy one-man job. Don't you guys worry about it. Well, the Fallen will continue to claw at the walls of our city unless we strike them down. Beneath the ruins of the Cosmodrome, in the shadow of an old colony ship, we've located the House of Devil's Lair and the High Civita, feeding them their strength. We must destroy this machine god and send their souls screaming back to hell. Um, 
Alright, hang on a minute. We have to start from the beginning. Um. Fallen and hide. Oh, no, we're good. Let's hope we can avoid the crossfire. Yep, we're fine, we're fine. We're just, we've started a little bit. There's actually someone already doing it, but we've barely drawn, we've barely missed anything. We just missed a few enemies. That's it. But yeah, so basically, guys, the Fallen... We've, in this video, you, that was that was um, the Tyson Vanguard Savala talking at the start of the video. And that was him mentioning that all the Fallen that have been attacking us so far in the campaign, we found their lair. And we found their machine god as well. So we've got to go take him down. And there's someone else already here, so we've actually joined someone's lobby. But that is fine, because he hasn't done any of the main part without us yet. Hello there, friend. Hello. Pretty complex. All right, let's do this. I'll need time. Made a nice friend. Let's get it done. We've got to defend this. There's lasers in there. If we go through that, we are dead. So let's get it done. <laughs> I'd laugh if this other guy was a YouTuber as well, doing his own video. <laughs> Oh, there you are. This guy's playing as a badass hunter. It's cool to have a hunter on the team. I'd love for the third person to join as well. That just made things too easy. Oh, I see the shanks. Cool, cool. The fallen are getting smarter. It's like the entire system is wired to a. I'll work faster. Yeah, let's not start conversation now, guys. It's a serious moment. We're fighting for our lives. Not really. They're fighting for their lives. We're just. This is open season. <laughs> awesome. Get out of it. Freaking iron fist all the way. Oops. Rock time. Nice. I'm close, but just so you know, there's more fallen than hive on the way. Oh no, how will we survive? <laughs> Boom. So yeah, there's many strikes in the game, guys. They all consist of three people teaming up, or less than three people, one, two, or three, teaming up to take down a load of enemies and eventually a boss at the end. And this is the first of a strike that was in Destiny when it first came out, when it first was released. It was in the Destiny 1 beta as well, I think. I never played that beta, but I'm pretty sure it was. Fun and easy peasy. Slaughter time! I love Dempsey quotes from COD Zombies. He's the best character out of all the Zombies characters, in my opinion. Just throwing that one out there. I might do some Zombies videos in the future with the Joe and Leo or something. I'd say Will as well, but I know he's not much a fan of zombies. He's more of a multiplayer guy, and hell, I can't blame him. He's good at it. I'd be a COD, I'd be a COD multiplayer fan as well if I wasn't so bad at the game. <laughs> but I'm more of an Overwatch Destiny Battlefield person. We're almost done. Thank you. Going well, this is good. Oh, there's the main leader. Well, not the boss, but not that leader. Barrier is down. We can move now. And so we move on. I just went in the wrong doorway. Here we are. Moving on. Good way to see not the museum. That old guy always says it. Moving on. Yeah, 
Get out of our own way. We've got a mission to do and a god to kill. I don't call it a god, I can just call it target practice. Cut through the fallen. The lair is up ahead, under that colony ship. Just on the other side of all those devils. That's some good old sniping. Yep, and now I've got to take down our first fallen tank. Well, not my first, but the first in the campaign you'll encounter. You've got to target the legs. Wear it down. And they're still pretty tough. There we go. Let's target the weak point. Oh, whoops. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Almost there. Go on, finish it off. Is he out of ammo? That's just typical. We're both out of ammo. Well, that's a few fallen. Hey! I'll take the ammo. Whoops. Gotta get this thing down. Can't get too close though. Not why he's doing that. There we go. Okay, let's finish off, finish off the fallen and get out of here. Okay, and we are good to go. This guy coming? Right, let's go. We're coming close to the end, folks. The Devil's so Lair. This is the Devil's Lair. How many humans were killed here makes you wonder. And that is Sepix Prime, everybody. Oh, we missed one. Hello, Sepix. Bring it on. Oh yeah, this is going to be good. Ah, nope, nope, nope. Just keep shooting him down. We got this. Not very threatening at all, Sepik. <laughs> Look at that health, too easy. Oh damn, he actually died. That's a shocker. Yeah. That was easy. Well done. Thank you. Sepix Prime cast a great shadow over our city. With its destruction, the fallen devils will grow weaker. <laughs> we must stay vigilant. The fallen are crafty, and they'll find ways to survive. They always do. Victory dance. 
Well, I believe that will conclude today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, just leave a like, drop a comment, and hit that subscribe button, and check the annotations below for other videos that I've done. Well, guys, guys, in the next video, we will head to the moon. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!